Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number six of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And we're gonna be going over another one of the basics, which is zooming and navigating your entire canvas. Now, some of you might be thinking, you know, when are we gonna get into designing things? I have done many tutorials on design in the past and I will eventually get to them uh, in the series. But right now I'm going over the things that are gonna help you design better. Now, in your head, you might also be thinking, well, what is zooming and navigating going to do for, you know, a logo that I'm trying to design? Well, it's going to help you streamline your design process and become way more efficient. So knowing how to zoom and navigate with keyboard command shortcuts is really the point of this. Now, if you go to my blog, the actual article with this video in it, you're going to see a PDF that you can download and this is what it looks like. It's going to basically have the keyboard commands. Um, so you can either download that and follow side by side or just listen and, and watch as I do this. But definitely you want to, you know, print that out, keep it next to your computer and, uh, and always kind of reference it until you don't need it anymore. Now, the one thing I want to mention is if you notice the only difference between these keyboard command shortcuts when it comes to the Mac and Windows is basically the command and the control. So you're going to see what a Mac, the main button we're going to be putting with this is the command or the one that used to have the Apple on it. It's to the left of the space bar. And actually mine has like a kind of like a squiggly thing on it. And on Windows, it's control. Now don't get that confused if you're a Mac person because you also have a control on the keyboard. That is not the same control. So again, Mac is command and Windows is control. Zooming is the process of obviously zooming in with the magnifying glass and navigating is how you kind of move around your canvas. See, the whole goal is to eventually design without looking at your keyboard because the more you're you're, you're looking for the letters and the more you're taking your mouse and going, uh-huh, where's my tool? Mm, let me find it in here. That's going to waste time. You know, if you can, like when you talk to somebody or you write an email and and you're really good at typing from doing it for many years. How fast can you get that email done? All right. It's going to be the same way with your design and you can get so many extra designs out with knowing these. So there's my ramble. Let's get into it. Uh, definitely. Like I said, download that PDF, follow side by side. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm just going to show you their, their, their bottom tool tools right here. Um, the zoom tool, you could either, you could hit, you could get to it by hitting Z. All right or you can get to the hand tool by hitting H, but we're not gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. If we come up to view, you're gonna see a couple things. Zoom in, zoom out, fit in artboard and window, fit all in window, actual size. So right now, we're gonna zoom in, okay? And we're gonna see what happens, all right? Now we're gonna come up and we're gonna zoom out. So now that you know how to come up here and click it, you're gonna to go to either command or control plus or minus, all right? Now watch, I'm gonna hit minus a bunch of times. See how fast that zooms out? But you notice how my artboard is kind of like moving to the side right now and look where it is when I zoom back in. All right, you don't really want that. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a minute. We're gonna come back up to view and we're gonna try the next one. See what that does fit artboard in window, which I use a lot, all right? And that's gonna base on your window. So your window is the size of your Illustrator program. So if I take this and I actually, if I was to zoom this down, all right, it's not working. Why aren't you working? Oh, I know why. All right, if I was to zoom this down and I hit Commando again, you see how it fills the window right there? Cool, right? The next thing you wanna do is fit all in window. And what that's basically gonna do is I actually have another artboard that's over here that's hidden. So basically it's going to pull all your artboards and it's gonna fit them all in the window. And lastly, I'm just gonna zoom out and I'm going to go to actual size, all right? That's based on not the actual size if you if you actually had to print out and you put it up to it, but it's based on the pixels or the dimensions and based on your screen resolution and all that. So though that is that area up there and the two tools to the left. Okay, so now you know those keyboard command shortcuts, you don't have to go all the way up here and click anymore. So it's something that if you're bored, if you have nothing to do today, just play around with it a bunch of times and then it's just gonna be something that you're going to get used to. Um, so you know what? You're watching this for a reason. You might as well listen and do what I say. So um, on to the next thing. We're going to 
do based our on our on our tools if you're working okay um, the first thing I want to show you is by hit, holding down the space bar all right you're gonna see the hand pop up I never hit H for hand all right I always hit space bar to get the hand and you're gonna notice once I click watch what happens to the hand boom the hand grabs it all right why do you think the hand is grabbing it because now when I am grabbing it I can move it around anywhere I want so say I, I have a really great idea right here and I say oh man I have something else boom I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna start designing right over here because I don't want to have to waste all this time clicking the hand now clicking the canvas to try to figure out and remember what my my bright you know idea was so that is again remember hold spacebar now when I design I always have my left hand on the keyboard I don't have it you know I don't have it off to the side you know I don't have it on my head in my pocket I have it to the left of the keyboard and because that's where you're gonna do a lot of your keyboard command shortcuts the right hand kinda of just you know it like if you're doing command zero like to fit in the window like before I showed you that case I would use like my right hand to hit the zero but my hand never leaves the left side of this damn keyboard so the next thing I want to do is I want to come over to here and without clicking zoom all right well you could click zoom I just want to show you how it works you could either click or you can hold option all right and option is going to give you the minus sign all right and which I believe is alt on a PC all right so you can either click and hold down you're gonna see a little marquee come up and say I want to get on like this top corner right here you're gonna notice that the more I zoom in just like that it'll get into that area right here all right so now I can either hit command zero again to bring it all the way back or I can hold spacebar I want you to play around with something real quick look at the keyboard command shortcuts for the zooming shortcuts on my on my PDF and you're gonna see the windows of the Mac shortcut so for the Mac I'm gonna hold uh, spacebar command and drag all right and that's gonna give us what we just did all right so say I am on the regular selection tool you see I'm on the regular arrow right here or you know what say I'm on a paintbrush okay you're gonna hold spacebar command and all of a sudden it switches to the the zoom tool you didn't even have to hit zoom all right now you can zoom in here all right and look what happens when I let go I'm still on my paintbrush how awesome is that what you now want to do is you want to add a third key in this all right so we're still on the, on the brush we're gonna hit spacebar command and the alt button and you're gonna see what happens when we hit that next button that alt button all right you're gonna see how it turns from a plus to a minus inside that hour inside that magnifying glass and then you can either click or you could do the same thing you did before click and zoom boom it'll zoom it out all right so you can kind of push stuff where you want it to be all right so like I said have fun with this and play around because there's a lot of combinations but what's cool is now I let go and look at it I'm still on the paintbrush tool so I'm not a fan of necessarily you know hitting Z or H actually I never do all right so it's the type of thing that you know if I'm designing I'm zooming in right, I'm gonna move this over here I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so that's pretty much what you want to toy with and that's really this tutorial this tutorial I know it was a little while and uh, every once in a while I get somebody who says you know too much rambling but you know what I don't care because that's the only way that this stuff is gonna get learned um, and like I said you got nothing to do today tonight play around with this over and over and over and I guarantee you the next job you're doing you're gonna start using this and like you're, you're gonna be like oh my gosh how did I never like know this before and if I did it would have helped me out so much you know more from my other designs but now you know now you can use it for the future if you like this tutorial let me know in the comments below please share it out to your uh, to your friends and your social networks and subscribe to my channel uh, I'll see you all for the next tutorial in Adobe Illustrator take care of you night buddy good night peace